Welcome back to Cooking with Michelle. I'm Joel. I've got Michelle Estrada, our wonderful cooperative extension agent with us today. Family, Family and, consumers. and consumer science agent. Oh, he got Boom. it. Finally. Got it you right. got it. Good. I'm another, so happy to be here. We have another special guest with us today, Mr. Ty. He is our intern over the summer, part of the county's summer youth employment program. So I said, Ty, you're going to cook today. And yes, he, he thought did. I was kidding, <laughs> but I'm not. So Ty, you're going to cook today. But okay. I think it's actually pretty cool because yes. the whole purpose of this show is to teach people how to cook if mm -hmm. they have no experience at all. And so uh, with Michelle's instructions and my color commentary, we're going to teach him how to cook today. So <laughs> so do you have any uh, skills, cooking skills? That would be. Oh, good. Right. So he's going to show up we'll see. today. We're going to talk about the recipe. Ty, go wash your hands. That's right. always our first step before we cook. So we'll talk about the recipe here. Well, so excited about this recipe. You know, I like easy, uh, inexpensive, and quick. So this is going to be basically something that you can uh, plan, in a, plan ahead. So um, it's one of our sheet pans. I love it. So it is this amazing. This is great for when you get home in the afternoon, mm -hmm. evening. You're like, I am tired. I don't want to cook something important and big and boom. And you want to have your vegetables yep. and your protein. You have it in one thing. There's a thing. lot of good stuff. That's right. right. So for today, we're going to use one pound of uh, chicken, chicken breast. Remember, no bone and no um, any fat. So we already cleaned that and we cut it into one inch uh, pieces. So another ingredient that we're going to need, uh, broccoli, we need around two cups. Well, I guess we'll use the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, we're going to need some, um, two medium uh, red peppers. And that's just to give you a color. If you have a green pepper, don't worry about it. Yeah. Just put it there. But we are all about looking nice Absolutely. and pretty. So we're going to also need some gin um, ginger. And we're going to use uh, fresh ginger. We're going to use some green onions. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun with this. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so easy. Uh, so, mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, what else? Salt and pepper is always optional, uh, especially salt in this recipe. And I'll mention, I'll do it. Uh, we'll talk about these at the end because this one is very high in sodium. But we always know that when we eat these kind of recipes, they're very high in sodium, and yeah. we'll try to make a healthier option. Uh, so we have the ginger, we have also garlic, we need two cloves, we need honey, and uh, we need this chili sauce, sweet chili sauce, and we're going to need some uh, soy sauce that is lower in sodium. And uh, optional, the green onions are optional, and also the sesame seeds are optional. Did you already cut the ginger? I did. You, you're saving him some time today. You're going uh, easy on No, I didn't know that you were it's coming. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. She's done you a favor. Trust oh, me. Oh, yes. I'm trying to help you. So what we're going to do, uh, we already preheat our oven to 400. So it's ready. Uh, again, the only work that you're doing in here is cutting this stuff. So that's going to be easy. But before we do that, we're going to start by cooking our sauce. And with this, for the sauce, we're going to need um the soy sauce i'll tell so you what i'll cook the sauce and you can chop the veggies that's How about that? good what would you say medium heat yes uh so we're going to do the soy this sauce this is always the hardest part ty is figuring out How which of these knobs on. to turn on <laughs> so we're going to need i'm going to put you all the ingredients that we're going to need for that so we have the soy sauce we have the sweet chili uh, sauce we're going to do our uh, garlic or honey and our ginger. Okay. Just these ingredients for the sauce. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start with the peas, uh, the sweet peas. So I have a few in here for you because this is the hardest part of the recipe. And I'm not sure if you really have to do it. One thing that you can do, just cut the ends and that will be fine. But some people, they recommend you to kind of go on this side and then on this side, okay? And then you're going to pull these, um, how would you call it, this string, okay? And sometimes the whole thing comes, and other times when you're on TV, that doesn't happen, so don't worry about it. <laughs> if something can go wrong, it will go so, wrong while we're filming. And I think the purpose of doing this, so you don't have all that, um, those textures when you're eating, okay? So I'm already did all those for you. So those are yours. Okay. So let's get where are your spoons at? You need a spoon or oh, can you honey. do the whisk? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. 
Just want to make sure I get all that honey goodness. That's good. Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. And I kind of taught you the hardest part, but if that doesn't work, I'll teach you the easy one. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> so uh, before we go to the next uh, step, this is something that I'll talk to Joel the first time that we start cooking. Okay. <laughs> so the way you hold the knife, you put these two fingers in here, and then you grab your knife this way. This is going to give you, you know, control over your knife because, um, you know, you're, you're going to hold it so good that many people that put their fingers here or I saw that you were holding it in here. Yeah. So this is going to be helping you a lot. So what you can do too, you can just cut the whole thing in here and then you will do this. So you, like I said, sometimes it goes. So you need to try both sides. And here it is. You see this one, how, how tough it was? Yeah. So that's something that we don't want to eat. Okay. And Michelle, for the sauce, are we just bringing it to a simmer? Yes, we're going to bring it to a simmer, and we, what we want you to do is to get it thicker. Okay. Oh, okay. Perfect. You got it now. You have a technique now. Yeah, a little bit. Mm-hmm. So I was like, really? We need to do this? This is like the hardest part for me. That's great. I think that you're good. You don't have to be that um, precise with that. We'll not give you a test or score you on those things. <laughs> if there was a test, I would have failed. <laughs> Can you smell that sauce? It smells so good. Oh my goodness. Somebody came a while ago and it said, it smells so good. I said, we haven't started yet. Yeah. <laughs> so no worries. I know you're glad that I didn't let you do the whole thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I had to call. I had to call Joel and said, "I need more time." <laughs> All right. So, I'm glad you did that. Every time that you need to uh, pull any food, you turn your knife and you pull it with this side. Uh huh. Yes. That way you don't dull your knife. See, this is why it's good to have time, because yeah. these are things that 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 people at home. Mm -hmm. probably may not know or do yes. it correctly. Mm -hmm. It's kind of nice every now and then to have somebody who... And sometimes we have the knowledge, but we have these habits that, you know, we learn like from yeah. our parents, from our grandparents, and just we'll just do it. Yep. Yeah. So it's always nice to... Um, I hope you don't care if I correct you or anything. That's, that's the reason why I'm here. <laughs> good, good. Now this is all about like when we're doing our cooking classes, you know, we just want people to do better because I, I was not a cook. Uh, it was not my favorite thing to do, but after I started going, you know, with to cooking classes with um, professional chefs and they explained me all this, I was like, oh, cooking is not that hard. Because it can be a little bit intimidating. Yeah, and the chef was like, like this watching me if I was doing a good job and I'm like shaking with the knife and yeah. I'm like, oh, please don't watch me like that. Right. So I don't want to make you feel like that. <laughs> uh, uh, Michelle, how thick are we looking for on this? Like thicker? Thicker than okay. that. Mm -hmm. And Is you can like stop. Uh -huh. okay. oh, that's right. And you can kind of stop a mixing and then when you see that you need to mix a little bit, just mix a little bit longer. And I think we have done uh, something similar, and you know sometimes it takes a little bit longer, yeah. depending of the amount of honey and things like that, or also according to what you have on your stove. That that uh, technique was easier than the other one, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll figure out that too. I start with the other one, and I'm like, oh yeah, this looks very fancy, but. Mm. <laughs> It's not really working not like that. Not really working in your 
favorite. No, 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 <laughs> definitely not. And especially if you have children and you're like, okay, I need to cook this quick. Uh, yeah. One thing that you can cut the ants and they can help you to do that part. That would be fun. And they can practice their fine mother skills. Ty talks about his girlfriend a lot at work, so I mean, now <laughs> he's going to be able to really impress her. Oh, my. With his cooking. Oh, right. yes. You can go home tonight and say, I learned how to cut peas today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they probably won't be as excited as you are, because I do that to my wife all the time, and she's uh -huh. like, congratulations. <laughs> but, That's how I do it, right? right? Okay, so now what we're going to do, we need like a quarter of a cup, and this is like an optional ingredient, but we need like a quarter of a cup of green onions, okay? When you do your green onions, be sure that you everything has been washed. But especially when you do herbs or, or green onions, if they're not dry, it is so hard to cut them, okay? So we're just gonna leave them like in here and uh, be sure that you have your fingers crawl so that way you don't cut them. And I'm doing it this way, but you do it the way uh, it works for you because um, I'm just don't want, I want to show it to the camera, okay? So this is how we're going to do it. Be sure that the knife goes all the way. If not, you're going to have a lot of this thing. So, and this is basically, we're going to put it at the end for garnish. Okay, okay. and we'll okay. put them in here. Turn it, I think it will be easier for you to turn it. Mm -hmm. Yes. I just did it that way so I could show it to the camera. It's okay. Great job, yes. And like I said, we don't need a lot. We just need a quarter of a cup. So that would be fine. Mm -hmm. I think you're a better listener than uh, Joel. Hey, <laughs> Joel's still here. Oh, oopsie, he's here. <laughs> Sorry, Joel. It's all right, man. He knows that I love him. So honestly, man, you can take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, don't leave me. <laughs> you just wait, though, Ty. I'm telling you, you're gonna be out. You're gonna be out eating lunch. <laughs> probably somewhere we we focus on healthy recipes here and you're probably going to be somewhere eating like burger king yeah. oh no <laughs> and somebody's gonna be like hey you're that guy from the cooking show mm -hmm. while you're eating your whopper it happens all the time all the time <laughs> all the time i'm like oh go and eat my pizza yep and as soon i talk people say oh you're michelle right from the cooking show it is so <laughs> embarrassing <laughs> But it's, everything is on moderation, right. right? I think we're good with I that. So, so let's put these ones in here. I don't want to mix all these with our trash. Okay, so we're going to put these back. And now we're going to cut a um, uh, pepper. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, have you ever cut a pepper before? No. <laughs> okay, but I love it. I, I love how he's like, I'm he's ready. Excited. I'm he's excited. ready. excited. So one thing that the way we cut peppers. I can tell you too, even if you have cut a pepper, you probably did it wrong. <laughs> so what we're gonna do in here, you're gonna cut the top okay. and we're gonna cut the bottom, okay? Gotcha. And then we'll go from there. A lot of times, Ty, when you're cutting vegetables and for everybody at home. Don't you forget will... your other your right. fingers, these, because we don't want to eat your <laughs> fingers. <laughs> You got it. Okay. A lot now of times when you're it. chopping vegetables, you want to chop the ends off so that you have a safer way to cut them. Right. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise it's going to roll all around. Whereas if you cut the bottom off, you can set it straight up and down. That's right. And one of the things that why we cut red peppers or any peppers this way is because we want to be sure that all of those seeds don't go everywhere. Right. Okay. So what we're going to do now, you're going to cut in here. Great. So now what we're going to do, we're going to open the pepper, okay? And all that is going to go into the trash can, and we have the trash can over there. Gotcha. Okay? So just take that out and put it in the trash. So if you, oh, you say you have never cut a pepper before, so we have a few uh, 
That's yeah. good. Here's these. Oh, these six. There. Okay, so when I cut my first pepper years ago, the whole seeds were there. So I had to wash my pepper in order to get it. So, but this way, it's ready. So it's easier. So now you have a big piece in here. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to cut it in here. Okay. That way it's easier to manipulate. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Great job. So this is not a very tasty, you know, it doesn't have a good flavor or, or the texture is not that good either. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do, I'm going to let you do the other one. So what I'm going to do, and I always tell uh, participants that it's so much easier to do it with a paring knife, but mm -hmm. I didn't bring the paring knife. So <laughs> we're going to do it. Careful. So yes. Mm -hmm. gotcha. That would be bad if like our intern <laughs> got so if you're going that like way, it. your fingers should like not be there because you can cut your tiny. fingers. Mm -hmm. You can do it that way. <laughs> Joel is talking and I'm not paying attention because I'm getting I'm nervous. I'm just worried about all the, paperwork. <laughs> all the paperwork I'm going to have to fill out. <laughs> you're, you're doing great. Good job. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. When I'm cooking. Now we can breathe. <laughs> So now what we're going to do, so we're going to chop our pepper. So this is a chef knife, and actually uh, the chef knife is longer than this one, but it has a point. So the point of having a point <laughs> is to keep the knife on the cutting board, right? So what we're going to do, and I want you to look at my shoulder, the way I, I move my arm, okay? So I hold my knife, my, um, I put my hand in here, and then... You see how it's a rocking motion? Mm -hmm. We want to, to do that because if not, like if you have to cut a lot, you're going to start having problems in your, um, how you Wrist. call it? That's right. Wrist. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So this is the way you're going to do the other piece. Okay. And when you start, you just do it slow like I did it. So then I'm going to put all these together and then I'm going to chop all this. So now it's your turn. She makes it look so easy. Yes, she does. Yeah. It is. <laughs> it takes practice. Remember, if you, you don't, need you don't to have turn to show it, the camera. Mm -hmm. right. you just turn. Yep, there you yeah, go. do it the way uh, it feels comfortable for you. Gotcha. And don't forget your other hand. <laughs> it's easier if you kind of like. Mm -hmm. But just curl your fingers. Uh -huh. You go all the way down so you don't have those pieces that they stick together. And slide the knife a little bit. That's right. And that's what I was telling you about the shoulder motion. Mm -hmm. And I know we're making you nervous, so I'm going to pretend that I'm not watching. <laughs> the other thing, Ty, is hold on your hand, and I'm just telling you this. Yeah, grab up here. Let me see the knife. You're like this. Like, don't be afraid to grab onto it so that it's just an extension of your hand. Mm -hmm. That's how you control the knife. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're doing great. You know, it's hard to do these, <laughs> and it's hard to do it in front of the no, camera. It, it is for sure. <laughs> yeah. I remember the first time that they told me that I was going to do a cooking show. I said, you have to be kidding. <laughs> I said, I cannot even speak English. Now, you want me to speak English, cook, <laughs> and have the camera in front of me? <laughs> OK. He did it. He did. See, yep. I think wow. it's because I was watching and he's like, okay. I, look, you get nervous when Michelle watches. She judges. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> okay, so if you notice when I did it, I had to put some on top of each other right. because if not, it's, that knife is not long enough. Okay. Just 
whole quiet, the whole room is quiet. I'm sorry. Very suspicious. We're just watching. <laughs> <laughs> we had the music in afterwards. You dum, want dum, me to dum, sing dum, something? Dum, dum, dum. <laughs> I can sing like a caracha. <laughs> Don't forget to crawl your fingers. If not, that knife is going to go. That's right. The food is going to taste a little bit different today if you leave those fingers. Are you laughing at me? No. No, he's laughing at me. I'm laughing at myself. <laughs> We have one more vegetable after this, and we'll let you relax a little bit. <laughs> we can just put the um, pepper in that container. And how is that sauce going? Oh, it's done. It's done? Yeah, okay. I started it a little too early, I think. Yeah, that's fine. That's it's fine. Thick. If we need to, <laughs> okay. So, no, it's not that thick. It's not that thick, but it's, it's good. It's ready. Okay. It's like glue now. <laughs> No, it's not that bad. Okay, now we're going to cut our broccoli. Okay, so what we're going to do, we don't really, for these kind of recipes, we don't want the stem. So what we're going to do, we're going to go around the broccoli, okay, and we're going to start cutting all these things. You know what you call that so, on the broccoli? It's a florette. A florette. Mm -hmm. Very good, Joel. Fancy. My goodness. Fancy. So. You know how Just because I know how to read the bag at the, at the food line. <laughs> You're so smart. <laughs> so one thing that is very important, sometimes, especially with broccoli, they give you the big pieces. I don't know if you have a hard time eating those big pieces. I sometimes do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we don't want you to do that in here. Sounds like I've never eaten broccoli before. <laughs> I'm going to learn today. So what That's we're going to do, like this is, um, this is a little bit uh, bigger, right? So what we're going to do, we will not cut from here to here. We'll turn them and we'll just go this way so they don't uh, lose their shape. Okay? Like in here. Oh, I got the other piece. Okay? So we'll do it that way. But you go all around that broccoli. And I'm going to bring a container because if not, you're not going to have space for that. Sorry, I'm making a lot of noise. You're fine. Well, we let um, Ty uh, cutting the broccoli. Do you want to start putting the chicken there? Yeah, okay. I can do that. Oh, be careful because the stove is still on. Oh, I know. I left it on. It's on a simmer. Oh, okay. So I can reheat that okay, when that's we're ready. Okay, that's why I was just wanting to be sure. So we're going to put the chicken on our tray, um, and just remember, we need to have one uh, layer. Okay, and I can get that for you. Okay, and remember, the smaller the pieces, the faster it cooks. But for this recipe, it's about um, 20 minutes. I was going to give you something to do. That. I know, I just, hey, you're just, just dove like, right in. You're like, All right. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay. You can put the broccoli that you already cut in here so okay. you know you have space. Are we putting anything on this? Then we're going to add the vegetables. But before we do that, we're going to spray our chicken with a little bit of oil. Okay. Okay. If you don't have one like this, you can always, you know, put it with a spoon or put, um, you know, the ones that are commercial. Uh, yeah. Oil spray. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. So what's going on? We need to pump it, I think. That's right. You're gonna have to do this because I got one chicken hand right now. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> See, I'm even exercising in the Look kitchen. I think this is one of the few uh, gadgets that we have in the kitchen, but this is the problem. But that way we can use our olive oil. I just need to spray faster. That's what it is. It's there fine. Go. I it's think we're enough. good. Mm -hmm. 
So this is the time if you want to put some salt, this is the time where you are going to put the salt and also we're going to put some pepper. Okay? Cool. So just kind of like go, oh, uh, he's so fancy. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> Love it. Okay. It's because I don't trust myself pouring it evenly. <laughs> Remember that time that you put the whole thing and I was yeah. like, oh, no. I do. That's why now I just <laughs> throw it all in my hand. So that's good. And if you want to use your hands to kind of okay. like, because you already use your hands. Yeah. So. Sometimes it's easier. Gosh, I feel just, I don't know. I have two guys working in the kitchen. Right? Not a bad, not a bad day. No, not a bad day at all. All righty. I'm a little bit stressed, but. I'm going to wash my hands now. <laughs> That's a great idea. Just remember to always wash your hands after you um, uh, manipulate chicken. Are we doing good? We're doing good. Perfect. I'm is the broccoli giving you a hard time or is behaving good? Okay, that's good. So the secret in here, like if you have, I'll purchase a whole tray of chicken, right? And what I did, I just divided. Uh, normally I would do like, um, like one pound, but in here it's a little bit over of one pound. And of course, we have a little bit over than uh, a little bit more than two cups of broccoli. So what we want to do in here, we want those colors to look really nice. I like it. Okay. So what I'm going to pass to you, uh, we're going to do this, and that way you can kind of Just like mix it in with the chicken. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you think that we cut too much, don't use the whole thing. I don't know. I kind of like it. Well, use whatever you want. You're cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use it all. Is that fine? That's fine. You sure? Yes. <laughs> that is the problem when you try to cook with guys in the kitchen. They just want to do whatever they want well, to no, do. Well, no. If we cut it, I'm going to use it. <laughs> no waste. No waste. That's right. So we're going to add our um, sweet peas. And the same thing. If you think we have too many, we'll just leave them and we can always make another tray. Okay. okay. Uh, and let's do the broccoli. I'm going to get it from you, okay? Because I think that was that's more than two cups. But we can always um, save that one. Okay. We're good? Okay, so now what you can do is just kind of mix the whole thing. And we're going to use half of the sauce that you made to um, cover it right now. You're making a mess. I'm Lost the broccoli. <laughs> it's, good. it's okay. You don't have to get I'm it right getting, now. I'm rescuing that broccoli. Okay. No broccoli left behind here. You know what's the good thing of having extra help? I'm going to have extra help with the dishes. You got it. It's our favorite part. <laughs> so just mix. I thought it was. I thought the in in my house is I cook you clean. Oh. I mean, whoever cooks doesn't clean. I'm gonna pretend that I'm cooking. <laughs> oh my goodness, Joel, what did you do in here? What? Too thick? <laughs> yeah. That's because you gotta warm it back up. Okay. Just let it warm back up. It'll be fine. I promise. Okay. Or we might have to make another batch. I started Maybe. it way too early. I think so. <laughs> Try to heat back up. It's kind of like chocolate. You just got to melt it back down. Okay, hopefully. Okay, let me Whisk see. it some more. Don't stop. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to have to. We've never done. <laughs> no. We've never had this happen before. It's his fault. It's his fault. That's yeah. exactly it. We're going to blame him. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, Is it thinning up? 
What about if you put a little more soy sauce in there? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, put a little more soy sauce. Yeah, okay. We'll follow your uh, advice. Chef Joel. <laughs> it is thick. Two C's. <laughs> okay. Oh, maybe that was too much. Nah, it's just no. enough. Perfect. Okay. Look, sodium? we're back right on schedule. <laughs> you doubted it. The sodium is going to be kind of crazy, but... Just got to get that. We may need to add a little bit more of the um, spicy and sweet. Oh, if yeah. If not, it's yeah, sodium yeah. is going to be... Okay. Let's see. This is our first time doing this. It really this. is our first time. <laughs> Joel messing something up this bed. <laughs> okay. Hear me. That's good. Look at that. It's like it never happened. I know. <laughs> you remember earlier though, I said, you want it thicker than this? And she said, yeah, thicker than that. And I kept going. Yeah, but it was kind of like, Oh no! I, I really I, think it's because I, I think it's because I started too early I and it just so sat too. on too long. I think so. But uh, maybe the heat was too. Yeah, high. that's why I turned it down. But I still think. Anyway, I think we're good now. Yeah, I think we're good. Um, you don't think that's good? Yeah, I may need to go out for lunch today. No, but. that's that's back to a good consistency. Uh, we need a little bit thicker than that. Now. Yeah, but I'm saying it's it's much better than yeah, like. we're getting there. It's chocolate. Yeah. Oh, it is. <laughs> Like what happened? <laughs> this is how we work in Wayne County. <laughs> Trial by fire. <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, try Sorry, try again. That's right. No, I promise you, this never happened. Yeah, this is actually the first time. Yeah. I think it's getting there. Yeah, it is. We're mm -hmm. good. You were worried. I was. I was because I'm hungry. <laughs> Whoops. So with this recipe, you can also use uh, some rice, okay? And for us, we're using instant rice. Oh, okay. So it's going to be good. All right. I like it. Yeah, I need mm -hmm. to. So just use half of that. And I'm just going to kind of pour it a little on? Yes. Mm -hmm. So now if our um, viewers are watching this, uh, it needs to be a little bit thicker than that. Oh, no really? No too thick, but okay, well, yes. just mix it. There you go, Ty. Mix it up. Okay. Oh, now <laughs> fix it. Yeah, fix it, Ty. <laughs> Thicken that up a little bit. And we're going to use that so we can maybe... Okay, well... Well, you, you know what? I'm going to We saw what wait. happened the last time we left it on Oh, the my goodness. <laughs> You gotta mix a whole lot more than that. Gotcha. We need that. We need that sauce all he's over. He's trying not to make a mess in the kitchen. Yeah. That's what he's well, that's trying. part of it. Process, you know. <laughs> if you're not making a mess, you're you not don't want to be in trouble, right? Because Joel, if the ready, is in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not you touching sure? this recipe anymore. Are you sure we don't need more sauce? <laughs> We're putting the rest of it on. Okay. Just keep mixing. All right. Yeah, we may need a little bit more, but. Well, if you're watching this show, please, if you want to invite me for lunch, I'm, I'm more than happy. <laughs> they blame it on the intern. Uh, Shows yeah. are mad See what shame. happened? <laughs> no, you're doing great. Look at you. You just look like a professional. Normally, Joel is a professional. I don't Normally. know what happened. <laughs> You win some, you lose some. Yeah, you, know, you can't win them all. Yeah, yeah. that's you, right. You live to find another day. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we need some, um, get some of the broccoli. It's not. It's a, a little bit more. Where do you think we need Probably to? Probably back in there, I would see say. See here? Yeah. <laughs> Did, what was it you said? Can we go back just like two minutes where she was like, if you see this, it needs to be thicker than that. And then now it's thick. 
I don't know what you're talking yeah. about. <laughs> See, it's not just me. Oh, so you agree with No, Joe. I'm saying it's too big. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to taste fine. I think so, too. I'm this has never happened. <laughs> I oh, think we're going to get a lot of calls after this video. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. okay, are you we'll good? We'll put up Ty's phone so. number. It'll be at the bottom of your screen. Yeah, you can call him. <laughs> if you have any questions, call him. <laughs> Don't call me. <laughs> I won't answer. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I think now we have a lot in here. So we're going to just... What? Nothing. <laughs> We're good. It's all good, right? So this is really an easy recipe. It was easy, right? It was great. Fun was had. Uh. You oh. Oh. You lost no, a pee this time. No one saw that. God, it's normally me. You didn't me. see it, right? It's normally me. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to try to just cover the whole thing so um, everything cooks even. So that was one thing that we always also talk about, Ty, um, that we need to cut everything even so when it cooks, it cooks even. It's all yours, Joel. All right. Let's take it to the oven. We're going to put this in the oven for how long? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. And if you want be, uh, at around 10 minutes, just mix it a little bit. Okay. That way it cooks even. We'll see you guys in 20 minutes. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> All Is right. that ready? It's looking delicious, smelling good. Most important part, we need to make sure it's done. Oh, look, How we were do right we... on schedule. I'm telling you. I'm going to turn this off. How do we know if it's done? Temperature. The temperature. So what is the safest internal temperature that we need for our chicken? <laughs> We're trying to have a conversation I'm in here, to Joel. <laughs> press timer. So for chicken, Joel, what is the? Uh... There we go. Okay, now this we is got fancy it. Oven. I don't know how to work it. What, what is... temperature are we looking for? One sixty-five. One sixty-five. Mm -hmm. So let's try it. So one thing that we need to be very careful when we are taking temperatures mm -hmm. is that we go on the side, that way we don't touch the sheet and we're getting a wrong temperature. Okay. So okay. for chicken, honestly, mm -hmm. sometimes you can just... Mm -hmm. And you can do two or three pieces if it's easier. It's not? No, it's getting there. It's there. It's just taking... You yeah, a while ago I did it, so maybe put more than one. No, it was there. That last one was there. It just takes a while to get to it. Okay. Yeah, it takes a while. Okay, we're good. So it's ready, and uh, this is the time that we can add more of our magic sauce. Ooh. <laughs> it's probably super thick now. Yeah, did so... Did you heat it back um, up? Yes, it was. Yeah, this is good. Okay. So what we are going to do, we're going to get, uh, I think this, well, do you know what? Yeah, we can use that. We can use this. Do you want to do it? Here, scoop these. Do you want to scoop? Oh, you're going to put it on there. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. But I think it's easier with the spoon that we Yeah. So just get all that yummy sauce. And I'm going to bring these to you, Joel, so when we serve, yeah. we remember to use this because yeah. we never remember that. Mm -hmm. All right, mix right. it all up. Mix it all up. I can't wait to eat. Yeah, Ty's over here <laughs> taking his time, right? Yeah. So, well, guys, while well, you do that, I'm going to share with you the nutritional fact, like um, the nutritional facts. So, we have for this recipe four servings, okay? 
I think we can. I was about to say, that's a big, pretty big serving. Here. Yes, a, a cup and a three quarters. Yeah. So that's really good. Calories, 277. Wow. Very good. It's not bad you at know, all. For dinner, for lunch, whatever you want, this is perfect. So the total fats are 6.2. But from those fats, only 0.7 are saturated fats. So we have all good fats there. Uh, uh, the problem of this <laughs> recipe? Sodium. <laughs> yes, sodium is 745 milligrams. So not a recipe that you can eat all the time unless you sacrifice a little bit of the flavor and you use less uh, soy sauce. Yeah. So that would be a good way to cut it. Uh, carbs. 26.1, a little bit higher on that. Fiber, really good for fiber, five grams. Uh, sugar, 16.8 grams. And then we have the protein, of course, 31.7 grams. And that looks delicious. So Ty, what do you think? It was an easy recipe? Uh, yeah, it was pretty simple. Pretty, pretty simple. simple, right? <laughs> We have a little bit of hiccups, but nothing yeah. that we couldn't fix. That's right. But I think that's also an important lesson. Yeah. That's right. Is that it doesn't matter if you mess some stuff up while you're cooking, you can typically fix it. Yeah. And you know, that is one thing that uh, with cooking, cooking we always say that it's art. Yeah. Baking is science. So we can always fix cooking. cooking. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the uh, baking, it is harder to fix. You can't fix it if it's, um, you know, if, if you're really good, but that looks delicious. And it's so pretty. Thank you so much. Woohoo! I'm you, excited. Thank you. All right. Let's do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll make sure I get a little bit of everything in here. Mmm. That's very good. You did good. We did good. I love you that. You did good. <laughs> I love that red pepper in there. Yeah. Mm hmm It really just adds a nice little, nice little touch. Very good. Very easy recipe. We might have messed up a little bit, but we, we fixed it. That's right. healthy. I also feel like it would reheat well. Oh yes. I like mm -hmm. to look at recipes as how can I take them for work the next day and mm -hmm. stuff like that. This one will reheat fine. Mm -hmm. Yes and we're using brown rice and like I say we're using instant rice so that was that took us like 10 minutes yeah. to cook and it is just delicious. Not bad at all. Michelle you did it again found this a great recipe. Ty Thank you for your help. Thank you. We appreciate you guys for watching. And if you have a question about this recipe, like we said, call Ty. Uh, but if there's something that you would like to see us try in the future, uh, you can give Michelle a call, let her know. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's got a ton of great recipes. You've seen them on here. But uh, she also has a ton of great cooking classes that That's she's right. teaching. So if you have questions about anything that she does, are yes. interested in cooking, give her a call right here at the let Cooperative Extension. Mm -hmm. so. 919 Awesome. Michelle, thank you so much for thank your time. You. We appreciate thank you. Thank you, Ty. And we'll see you again next time right here on Cooking with Michelle.